Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Titi Lokwe and I post videos and steps involved in getting admission into German schools. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe and share this video with your friends that you think might find it useful. In this video, I'm going to be showing you step-by-step -step guides as to how to search for schools using two websites. The first one is the DAAD website and the second one is the 4ICU.org website. I'm going to put the links in the description box below and you can do it yourself after this video. While you're searching for schools that you want to apply to, there are some terminologies that might look strange to you. I'm also going to be discussing these terminologies in this video. So let's get right into it. Before we go into the main video, let me share with you three things that might motivate you to apply to German schools. The first one is quality. Germans like quality and their educational system is no different. But the second one is the fact that you don't have to write any English test at all. For some schools, for my school, I didn't have to write any of the English tests like TOEFL, IELTS, GMAT or GRE. All I used was a letter of proficiency from my school stating that my bachelor's was in English and that sufficed. And the third one is of course the fact that it's free tuition. You don't have to pay any school fees for most of the schools, for most of the public schools in Germany. The only thing that you'll be paying is the semester fee which is around 100 euro to 400 euros or 500 euros depending on the schools that you are in. For my school, I'm paying 111 euros, which is about 45,000 naira. However, you still need to prove that you can support yourself while in school, living expenses. And you can do this via three means. The first one is scholarship. The second one is through sponsorship letter. This means that someone who lives and works here in Germany legally would have to write a letter to the embassy with proof showing that they can take care of all of your expenses while you're in school. The third one is via the blocked account. If you're using a blocked account, this is what I used, you'd have to deposit a sum of 8,640 into a German bank account. And this, out of these funds, only 720 euros will be released to you monthly, as this is the estimated living cost for students in Germany. The terminologies you need to know while you're applying to schools. The first one is the application period, which is the winter and the summer application period. In the winter application period, all schools are open for admission and your best bet is to apply during this time. And this is usually opened around March or April all the way through July. While for summer application periods, not all schools are open for admission, but you can still get some really good schools and courses for this application period. Applied for the summer application period. It's usually opened around November or December all through to January. The second thing you need to know is that they have two kinds of university system in Germany. The first one is called a Universität or Technische, which is a university or technical university. And the second one is a Fachhochschule or a University of Applied Sciences. So for a Universität or Technische, which is the university or technical university, in these schools, they are more research oriented and they offer PhD courses. While for the Fachhochschule or the University of Applied Sciences, they are more practical oriented. But don't limit yourself. You don't have to apply to a faculty alone or university. It's just something you should have at the back of your mind that those are the two kinds of system they have for their university education. But you can feel free to apply to any. The last one is the difference between a restricted and an unrestricted course. For a restricted course, it is called a numerous clauses, meaning the number of applicants exceed the number of spaces available for studies. So if in front of your course you see a numerous clauses, it means they already have a particular number of students they want to admit and once they reach that quota, even if you meet the requirements, you won't be granted an admission. Why? For the unrestricted course, as long as you meet the requirements for that course, you will be granted an admission. So that's basically the difference between the two. I will also recommend that you have a notepad by you or create an Excel spreadsheet where you put the information for each school. This will help you organize your thoughts 
so as to make a decision at the end of the day. So for mine, I had the name of the school, the city, the semester fee involved, the requirements because each school have different requirements, application deadline, and all sorts of information that I might use, that I would need to make up my mind at the end of the search. I'll put a screenshot of my Excel spreadsheet so you can just see how to come up with yours and the information that you will need to make up your mind. So yeah, that's also very important. Now let's get right into the video where I show you how to search for schools. So the first thing you want to do is go into the DAAD website. And try to find the schools you want. So you go to the information for foreigners, international programs. Once you get here, you choose your course type. You have bachelor's, master's, PhD, and some others. For mine, I'm going to be choosing the master's and the course language, of course, English only. And the field of studies, let me choose law, economics, and science. Nice. Once you're here, you can filter some more. We already put the course type, we already put the field of study. You can choose the subject as business and economics. We have put the course language to be English. We don't need the level of English. We can ignore the location because we're trying to expand our search as far as we can. Unless you have a relation somewhere and you're willing to stick to a particular city. But for most people, you just want to search first. Come to advanced search. No fees for tuition. Beginning of you can either choose for summer or for winter, but for this video, I'm going to be choosing the two just so we have a broader search. And ignore the duration. So we have this search result. We have up to 10 pages. Click on this. I've clicked on Masters in International Business from a school in Berlin and here I have the overview of the course, teaching language, English, course location, Berlin, program duration, three semesters, beginning in the summer, application deadline 15th of December, tuition fees per semester in Euro, none, and then the description of the content. You'd also want to come to requirements and registration to further see what you need to do. Somewhere in this statement, you have that if you have conducted your university degree in English, the selection committee can waive the language requirements. So this is what I'm talking about. All you will need now is a letter to prove that you have actually conducted your bachelor's in English, and that should suffice. Application deadline, 15th of December for the following semester. So once you have done this, it will be advisable to go to their website to find out more details. HTW Berlin. Here. Most of their websites are in German, but they usually have an icon where you can change it to English. And if it's not there, I recommend that you use a Chrome browser where you can translate the page to English. So I'm going to go ahead and change the language here to English. I click on studies, degree programs, and here I can filter my search again. Bachelor's or master's. I choose master's. Mode of study. This means on campus and off campus, so I'm going to choose on campus. It told us that the program starts in summer semester, so I'm going to choose summer semester. And the program language is in English. And here we have it. We have two courses in the summer semester that are taught in English. The international business and the international and development economics. I'm going to go ahead and click on the international business. 
and just read through all of this information and put it in my Excel spreadsheet or a notepad. And here you have applying, admission requirements and application procedures and then you can just read through all of this and have all of them down and go ahead to see if you want to apply to that school. Uh, an example of the numerous courses course we have this international management marketing entrepreneurship and it says admission is restricted in C courses so that's just to show you an example of a restricted course additionally I told you that I used another website for icu.org here we have it for icu.org forward slash de This is a ranking website, but please ignore the ranks, just it gives you the opportunity to see all the schools and the towns. And then you can go through each and find courses that you'd be interested in. Education. International, international students, you can click on this and you'll find the courses that they offer. Degrees. So here you can look for information on English and double degree programs only. And here it's listed, these are the English language master's programs they have in this university. Then you can go ahead and look through each and see if any of them meet your requirements. So this is how to search for schools. It can be a tedious process because you have to make sure you're not missing out any requirement. But trust me, it's going to be worthwhile at the end. This list goes all the way down to 367 schools you can choose from. So this is how you can look through the different schools and choose the one that meets your requirements and you also meet their requirements. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you have found this video useful, please subscribe. And if you have any comments, make sure you drop them in the comment section below and I'll be sure to give you a response. Bye.